Hi there, this is Patricia from patriciafenty.com and today I have a crochet tutorial for you on how to make this pretty little six petal flower. I call it a crown flower because I think this little outside edging looks like a crown but of course you can make it with just the six petal flower itself without the crown so you can make it two different ways. Now for this project, I'm using the Mon Dial Cotton Soft Bio. It's a number three fingering weight yarn. And I have a series of flowers that I'm doing in this yarn uh, for a project that I was working on. And so this is what I'm using for most of these leaves and flowers. And this is the gold color. It's number 175 and the lavender color is number 823. So this is a more intermediate pattern. If you're just new to crochet, you can check out my beginner crochet series. And once you begin to practice a bit, you could come back and try crocheting this pattern. And the thing you need to do is to get a feel of crochet before you do something like this because the smaller yarn can be a little bit more tricky to work with. So I'm using a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook and a darning needle and some scissors. So let's get started. And I'm sorry the camera isn't as close in as usual. This is actually a pattern that I recorded a while ago before I set my camera up differently. Um, but you can still uh, see I'll be talking you through and you'll be able to follow along with this pattern. So you'll start with a slip knot and put that on your crochet hook and set up your tension and start with a chain four. I just realized I have to put my glasses on. There, that's better, now I can see. <laughs> and then you'll make a ring by joining into the top loop of your first chain with a slip knot. And then the next thing you're going to do is chain six. and six and then you'll do a double crochet into the center of the ring and when you have a small chain four ring sometimes the center can be hard to find but just let your hook sort of guide you into the center and you'll find that and and then just bring your yarn through and then yarn over and through two loops yarn over through two loops and then chain three and then do another double crochet into the center of your ring and then you'll chain three and you'll do that all the way around so that you have six double crochets, including your first chain three of the chain six. So here we are. So this will make it six. And so now you'll join this round by doing a slip stitch into the third chain of the beginning chain six and go under the, the the loop there and do a slip stitch and that completes round one. Now you'll do another slip stitch into that chain three space and then chain three. And now you're going to work four double crochets into that chain three space. And now we're making the petals of the flower. 
and that's three and get some more yarn here three and then one more and then chain three and come back down into that chain three space with a slip stitch and that brings your petal back down and there you have your first petal then you'll go over to the next chain three space with a slip stitch into the chain three space and we're just going to repeat this so you chain three and then do four double crochets into that chain three space and just sort of push your work over to the right like that and that's three that's four and then chain three and then do a slip stitch back down into that same chain three space and that's your second petal and so you're just going to repeat that all the way around and do that four more times and complete your petal and i'll see you on the other side all right so there's my last chain three and bring that down with a slip stitch into that last space and then to finish off you just want to do a, a slip stitch into this this is your starting chain six and you'll go into the third chain and just do a slip stitch just like that and when I make flowers like this, I don't actually do a chain one to fasten off to create a knot. I sometimes I do. It just depends on the project. So I, I just cut it and I pull the yarn through and then you can just darn in the tail ends. And um, so I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. All right, here we are, and I've darned all the ends in. And I like to darn them in as I go. That's totally up to you. And of course, you can stop here if you like and just use the flower in this way. Uh, but now I'm going to join on the gold color. So start with a slip knot, and we're going to join on with a single crochet. And just put the loop on your hook with the tail to the right and then you want to join in in between uh, start at the top of the double crochet post here there'll be a gap in between the petals and you can just join in there and you go under two two loops there and then you'll grab your yarn from behind it's a little bit tricky and uh, this yarn the ply is really loose and I often get caught up on it there we go and then flip your tail over you now have two loops on your hook and do your single crochet just like that there you go so you have your single crochet in the top of that post now you'll chain four and then you're going to skip three stitches well it's essentially what you're doing is you're you're going to land right in between the four double crochets so you're going to go right in the middle of the four double crochets. So there's your chain three and your two double crochets and you're going right into the middle there and you'll do a single crochet there. Now we're going to create a little pico. So chain three 
and then you're going to come back down and do a slip stitch into the front of those two posts of the single crochet and just do a slip stitch and bring that pico down and then chain four and then you'll come down and do a single crochet in between the petals in the top of that double crochet post and just those two stitches in between the petals and do a single crochet there we go and that creates your little crown shaped uh, pico so i'll repeat that all the way around i'll just do it again so chain four and do a single crochet in between the the four double crochet posts so your chain three one and your second double crochet and go right in between and do a single crochet then chain three for your pico and then come down with a slip stitch into the front two posts of your single crochet and just do a slip stitch to bring the pico down again the ply of this yarn is a little bit tricky to work with and then chain four and then a single crochet into the top of that double crochet post so go ahead and do that all the way around and so here we are at the end of the round and you've just done the chain four and you'll just finish off by doing a slip stitch into the beginning single crochet just do a slip stitch there and again i'm not going to do a chain one to fasten off i prefer not to do that with projects like this so just pull the yarn through and then you can darn in your tails like that and so you can see how sort of wonky it is at first so you do need to press it i'm just going to finger press it here but you can use a steamer or a, a press cloth on a low setting um, and that flattens it out nice nicely and here i've just done it with my fingers so there you go isn't that just the cutest little crown flower so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more creative and inspiring videos. Thank you for joining me.